This is the place where the where the authentic football fans go. What is it? that causes people to mix breakfast and booze, surrounded by total strangers. It has been a tradition at Fremont's Georgian Dragon every four years. It's about being with people. It's about the energy of the crowd. Business consultant Kevin May is a UK expat. There was an Iran-Morocco game this morning, and there were like 150 Iranians in here. It's kind of like a festive season for us. Iranian-born Puderia Gadimi is a recent UW grad. Bring everyone together, and they don't care about like all the problems. They just start watching soccer and forget all the troubles that they have. They are just two people who helped fill the old school bar nestled in the middle of New Seattle. A place whose success dozens of others locally are now trying to duplicate. Revenue goes up threefold during the cup. They're all jumping on the bandwagon. Gareth Etchells runs the Atlantic Crossing in Ravenna. Our busiest month ever was four years ago for the last World Cup. He will open as early as five in the morning this month. <laughs> to allow people to hoot and holler. That was no good. With beer and ballers. Only two days in, May says, at least here in Seattle, the World Cup has already scored. Given some of the uh, things going on the global stage at the moment, it just reminds you that, you know, with a country like Iran, there are a bunch of people here, they look like us, they talk like us, they're interested in the same thing, actually they're not that different. And in that respect, you know, it's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.